I apologise for not being around for a while. I've been quite busy trying to sort of oh, sort things out, sort my debts out, change accounts, start going into sort of business and all these sort of things. I've got to do resolve things. I've been doing a bit of stock making and just some quick stencil art, as you can see here on the boards, ready to take to the shows. Just try something sort of quick and affordable to try and bring those pennies in. And obviously I've got to work on Grace on her outside. So I'm just showing you the exterior of what I've got planned. I will be cladding her as in like this lorry, clad with wood. And instead of where it's got cream up and down on these struts here, I'll be painting it black hammer right as you see in this one. So it's going to be wood with black. And uh, the cats have been busy and happy. We've been going outside every morning. So I'll just show you a few pictures of sharing our time together and a little video. And I hope you enjoy. I walk on the girls. Let this come in too. Two girls today. Hey girls. I'm trying to do two cats at a time. Um, so two kittens or these two, aren't you? I'm thinking that I haven't done much with the uh, mish teeth, but I have. She did produce to walk with Connie. Uh, so hopefully she'll so well, she's in season, so she just wanted a bit of my fresh air. Bentley! Connie come. Connie's just lovely now. Good girl, Connie cat. This is just staying on the road, just teaching them to start going out and they're ready for spring walking. You're tangled. Look what you're doing, you just rolled it over you. You're all tangled. Tangled. <laughs> Look at all the tangles. Sweat yourself out. Tangled. Good girl. Bonnie, come. Lovely day, very cold day, very cold night. Look beautiful though. No, on the car. Come on then. Go out with the babies now. Uh, okay, man, come on. Here. Come here. Off the road. Gotta be careful because his harness comes off. Good boy, Bentley. He's good babies. Hey, man, off the road. This way. Come on. Come on, hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> Off the road, you little sausage. Come here, come on, come on. Back, video and control them. Good babies, good boy, Bentley. Good girl. I'm pretty sure these two would follow me, but obviously I can't do it on the road. Good babies, good babies. Good boy. Grace got some attention too. I got my scraper out and started to see what needed doing and to obviously start tackling the issues and the problem. So here we go. Enjoy. Right, so I started work scraping Grace. It's also going to be a, a bit of a job. So obviously I've got all this corrosion in where the aluminium's met the galvanised stuff. So I'm having to take the, take the paint right back as far as I can and also take it right out of the alley and in the edge and all around here and as you can see going along here the worst bit is over here where it's obviously rotting away and right back to the wooden side so I've just got to take as much as I can off and because I'm cladding this I'm assuming that I've only just got to do enough to be able to paint around the uprights and protect the aluminium where it meets the metal so I'm going to have to do all around the edges, all around the struts just take the loose bits off um, the centre bit, the centre bit seems fine you know, there's nothing wrong with the centre bit it's obviously all this bit where it's um, eaten away um, so obviously it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of effort to do this but to do it right so I'm actually, I say, started on this and I might actually do it so that obviously once I've done this bit it's going to be prone to open air and everything so um, it's going to be rush treated um, and then I might put a bit of filler in I don't know if I'm going to put a bit of filler in this or not I might have to, I don't know what sort of filler will somebody give me ideas if I've got to put any filler in that um, but this will all be hammer white black I've got hammer white black paint coming um, so it can be rush neutralised black hammer whited um, all round these sections and then obviously I can then clad and the clad's going to go on with um, PU adhesive um, so I might have to just get all this section done 
get it all treated, get all this bit clad <laughs> and then start on the next section of the lorry rather than leave the lorry prone um, then at least you can see, people can see that it's actually work in progress because obviously if I can just do a I mean I was going to do this one up at a time um, but that would be silly um, and also I need a ladder to get up to the top I don't know, I haven't found a ladder yet I'm trying to buy one um, so I'm going to sort of do this, sweep up as I go um, but as you can see it's it's, I don't feel as bad knowing what I'm going to be doing to it because they just suit absolutely fine and she's going to look beautiful once she's black and and got some nice plain padding on which is also going to be treated with a wood preservative um, obviously I've got to seal around the windows, clear around the windows um, get perspex in the windows if that doesn't work then obviously they'd be fully sealed from the inside but obviously it's all got to be scraped down and sealed and all this is going to have sealant going around as well. Um, I think I've got to paint it first, and I've got to paint it first, and seal sealant um, and clad and everything. I don't know actually. I'd have to be told which way around I've got to do that. I'm sure somebody would tell me. Uh, might help. Um, it's just getting up there. I've got to get. But obviously, as if you look at it in sections and work in sections, it doesn't look such a big daunting job. I've literally only been at this 10-15 minutes, and. Um, doing well now obviously there's any machines I can use oh, um, to help this I mean I'm, I'm using my scraper using a wire brush and just manpower um, <coughs> I've got to get I've got another um, triangle scraper coming so I've ordered all my have I ordered all my bits today? I don't know where I've ordered my bits today I think I've got no I'm not I've got to wait till my I put my cash in the bank and then I've got a, a big Amazon order um, of stuff coming at the moment. I just wanted to start doing something whilst it, the cats were asleep and whilst it was dry. Um, but yeah, I've got a big Amazon order waiting to go in for all the stuff. Um, but for now, I can say no point sitting down doing stuff inside when it's nice outside. I'm going to do the stuff inside when it's dark, when I've got a light. So there you go, I'm just showing you what I'm up to at the moment.